Hey guys, this is JJ with Express Workshops. This week I want to work on a project, um, one that I've kind of done some things to before. You might recognize this background that I used um, from some photographs that I took at a vacation a few years ago. And as you can see on here, I've got one big photograph for the background, some lettering on it, and I've got three photographs that I've used uh, a frame on, a stroke around each one, a shadow and whatnot. Um, but what if I want to do a collage like this, but I really wanted to make sure that this border here kind of blended in with the background and not have these hard edges or strokes around it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I have over here one already done. You can see that this has a nice soft, it blends in with the sand in the background, but you can see the image there. Just kind of a pleasing look. And what I want to do is I want to show you how to do, a couple, how to achieve that a couple different ways. So let's go ahead and go to File and Open. And I'm going to choose this photograph here. It's fine. Now this photograph, I want to open up on its own document because I need to prepare it before I put it onto my uh, finished document. Um, and it's just a background layer here, as you can see, but I need to duplicate that. So I'm going to control D or control J on my keyboard. And that's going to give me two or a copy of that layer. So two identical layers here on my background layer. I don't need anything there. So, I'm going to just select it with control A that selects all you can see this border that goes around or selection that goes around it and then my background color here is white and that's what I want to uh, fill that background with so on my keyboard a shortcut to fill I can use control and backspace and you can see that this changed to white because white is my background color. If I wanted to make it my foreground color, I could use Alt Backspace and you can see that it changed it to a black back or yeah, black background. Say that three times fast. Uh, because I have my foreground as as black. So I'm going to undo that because I do want a white background. And then I can deselect this background by control D on my keyboard. And then I'm going to move to this top layer and I'm going to go up here to my elliptical marquee tool and I'm just going to make a nice oval around there like that. Okay, once I've made this selection, refine mask is going to highlight here at the top. I want to choose refine mask and you can see here where my mask is going to affect the image. And I don't want this hard edge again. I want to make it really soft. And the way to do that is with my feather adjustment here. I can soften that by how far I move the slider. So I'm thinking that's going to work. Now, instead of just choosing OK and going back out, I want to do one more thing. On this output uh, section here, I want to output this to a layer mask and that's going to give me some control and I'll show you how that works a little bit later. But for now, I'll go ahead and just choose OK. And you can see that now it has created this mask, this layer mask with that feather edge around there. Now, what I've got to do is I've got to get this image over to my collage. And an easy way to do that and also keep this layer mask with this layer is to right click on that layer and choose duplicate layer. When this dialog box comes in, you can name it whatever you wanted, but I'm just going to leave it whatever it says here because I really don't care. But this destination area is what we're going to really concentrate on. Right now it's saying that the the document is, is Savannah Vacation 5 and I want it to be in Savannah Vacation Finish 2 which is my document where I have the collage. So I'll choose that and say OK. Now nothing seems to happen here but when I go to my Savannah Vacation you can see it's 
really big, but you can see that now my layer and its layer mask have appeared on there. Now it's too large, so I want to select that layer and choose Control T on my keyboard for transform. And I'm going to make that smaller. I'm going to move it a little bit around over here like that and maybe transform it a little more there move it around to there and say okay so now that's one way of getting that nice soft edge around there using a, the elliptical uh, selection tool now let's do another way of doing it let's go to file and open and I'm going to choose another photograph. Let's pick this one. And again, we want to do the same kind of thing we did before. We want to duplicate the layer, Control J. And then on that bottom layer, I want to go ahead and select that, Control A. That selects everything. And then again, my background color here is white. So Control Backspace will fill that with white. And Control D will deselect it. And then on this layer this time, I'm going to do something a little different. I want to do a more freehand um, selection. You know, before when I used the elliptical tool, it made a nice, clean, uh, even line around there. And this time I want to make it a little more organic. So what I have to do, I select that top layer, go down here to my add layer mask, and I click on that and you can see that I have a layer mask on there. Now, with my brush tool, I'm gonna to select my brush tool, it's a pretty good sized brush tool there, and I'm gonna use my mouse this time, just because a lot of times in my tutorials I'm using my Cintiq tablet, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it, it really is an advantage, but this time I'm just gonna use what maybe a lot of you guys have, it's just a mouse. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I have a soft brush there, so that's fine. And with black in my brush and painting on a white mask, I'm just gonna go around and just kinda paint that out, the background. When I paint black on a white mask, it's basically like erasing. And you can see I can just go around that and just kinda make whatever kind of shape that I want. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, one of the things that I find when I do this type of technique is that you can see here in this top part right here, I missed a little area. And I don't know that I've missed that area until I get it to my other um, document and then I go, man, I, I, I missed that document. Now, what I'm going to do, we can easily fix it, but I want to be able to see that in this document. And a trick for doing that, if you hold Alt on the keyboard and you click on your layer mask, it will show you this mask, what it actually looks like. This basically enlarged on here. And you can see that this area right here, I missed an area. Um, and so that little corner is going to show up. Where it's white, it's actually showing the photograph underneath. And where it's black, it's hiding the photograph. So you can see that this area here is going to show that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and Alt-click back on this. And I'm just going to let that be because I want to show you the value of going in and actually taking the layer mask with your, um, with your layer. So again, I'm going to go ahead and right click on that layer, duplicate layer, don't care what it's called, actually this time, you know what, just for the sake of making it clean, I'll make it copy two. And remember, we need to go to Savannah Vacation Finish 2 and say OK. Then I'll go ahead and open that document and you can see it's right there in the middle. Again, it's pretty large, so I'll make sure that's selected and Control T to transform and I'm going to go ahead and make that smaller okay right about there is good and I'm going to say okay 
Now, that little area that we forgot, we may be able to see it. I'm not sure if we'll see it on here because it was pretty light in the first place. But that little area right there, I still have a layer mask. So I can go in with that layer mask and paint that out. Okay, so I can click on that layer mask. I can go in with my brush tool and with black on there, I can just go ahead and knock that out as much as I want. All right, taken care of. All right, and so now, any time that I want to change these around, I can move these however I want on here to make it a nice, pleasing collage. But I have this real soft look. I can even go over some of the elements inside there like that and still be okay. So it's a lot better than having that really hard area um, border around every single time. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, hope you learned something from this. It's kind of a, a technique that you could use for a lot of things. As a matter of fact, using layer mask is really magical to me. I mean, I'm not a wizard, but I think that <laughs> I think it's a pretty cool thing uh, when you learn how to use uh, layer mask for, for doing different things. All right, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Check out my videos every single week. I'm going to keep up with that until... Um, Everybody knows that I'm on the internet. Um, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next week.